Good morning, my name is Father Raya Pa. In this segment, I'm going to talk about the rain tree. The botanical name is Albizia Saman. After giving the introduction, I'm going to show you a video which I shot last month in Don Bosco, Sagayatotum in South India. They have an avenue of rain trees, I think 20 of them. I would rate them uh, maybe 100 to 200 years old. They are old, even today you can see the majesty and the beauty of these trees. So first, let me talk about the rain tree a little bit. The botanical name is Albizia Saman. Albizia Saman is a species of flowering tree in the pea family known as Fabaceae. That is native to the Neotropics. India is in Neotropics. Its range extends from Mexico south to Peru and Brazil, but it has been widely introduced to South and Southeast Asia as well as the Pacific Islands, including Hawaii. Common names include Saman, Rain Tree, and Monkey Pod. It is often placed in the genus Samania, which by yet another author is subsumed in Albizia entirely. The lineage classification is as follows. Kingdom Plantae, Clade Angiosperms, that means seed-bearing trees, unranked eudicots, unranked rosets, order Fabales, family Fabaceae, genus Albizia, species name is Albizia Saman. Although generally planted as a shade tree and ornamental, it has been naturalized in many countries and is greatly valued in pastures as shade for cattle. Short bold with a spreading crown, when open grown, it forms a long, relatively straight stem when closely spaced. Its wood is highly valued in some locations for carvings and furniture. The most widely used common name for the species is rain tree, from the belief that the tree produces rain at night. The leaflets close up at night or when under heavy cloud cover, allowing rain to pass easily through the crown. This trait may contribute to the frequently observed fact that grass remains green under the trees in times of drought. However, the shading effect of the crown, the addition of nitrogen to the soil by decomposition of litter from this leguminous tree, and possibly the sticky droppings of cicadas, uh, uh, grasshopper insects, they look like them, cicadas. The insects in the trees all contribute to this phenomenon. The Hawaiian common name monkey pod is used here because it is a logical derivation of the scientific name pithocelobium, that is monkey earring in Greek. Besides monkey pod, rain tree and saman which is its name throughout Latin America. The tree is called Mimosa in the Philippines. Saman is a wide canopy tree with a large symmetrical crown. It usually reaches a height of 25 meters, that is 82 feet, and a diameter of 40 meters. The leaves fold in rainy weather and in the evening, hence the name rain tree and five o'clock tree. In Malay, it is known as Pukul Lima. Several lineages of this tree are available. Example, 
with reddish pink and creamish golden colored flowers. Large branches of the tree tend to break off, particularly during rainstorms. This can be hazardous as the tree is very commonly used for avenue plantation. A famous specimen called the Brahmaputra rain tree in India, it is located at Gauhati on the banks of the Brahmaputra river in Assam. India has the thickest trunk of any Saman. That is the biggest tree, rain tree you can find in India. It's approximately 12 feet, that means 3.66 meters diameter at breast height. That is big. Anyway, now I'm going to show you a video clip I shot last month in Don Bosco uh, Sakaya Totem in South India. Don Bosco Sakaya Totem is located 70 kilometers south of Chennai. In previous segment, I talked about the banyan tree, the banyan tree and this rain tree. They are located in between eight kilometers. So if you are intending to visit these trees, they are very, very close by. You can have uh, combine both the trips together. These trees are fantastic. These trees are fantastic. It's not one rain tree. The clip is going to show you about 20 rain trees. It's an avenue of rain trees. Because Don Bosco is a religious place and uh, they will not cut them down. I mean, they are well protected. It is not in the hands of some multinational corporations, developers. I mean, they will not hesitate to cut them down. Thank God it is in the Don Bosco premises and they are safe for the future generations. Enjoy the clip. Thank you.